What's going on guys, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com and in this video I'm going to go over my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL Week 3 picks and also take a look back at how my picks did from last week's video. If you want to get notifications on when I post new DraftKings and FanDuel videos, make sure you click that little gear icon underneath the YouTube video if you're on a desktop or the little bell icon that you can see in the right hand image if you're on a mobile phone. That way you'll get updates on when I post new videos. All right, so before we move on to NFL week three, let's take a look back at my week two picks. On the left-hand side there, you can see some solid picks. I had Bortles with 24 points. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt was really cheap. He put up 21 points. Will Fuller was a cheap receiver with 17 points. Tyrell Williams was another cheap receiver that put up 15 points. And Delaney Walker was uh, fairly cheap and put up 20 points. So those are my solid picks. And then on the right-hand side, you can see I had quite a few bad picks on the week as well. So it was a little disappointing for me. I had Osweiler with just 12 points. Allen Robinson only put up eight points. Steve Smith with nine. Uh, Danny Woodhead was one of the running backs I mentioned, and he ended up getting injured. And then my value uh, defense special teams pick was the Raiders, and they put up minus one point. So uh, they've looked really bad through two games. Uh, I made a little prediction before the season that they would have a pretty good defense, and that looks like it's completely wrong. It looks like they're a pretty bad defense. So now I'm probably going to be picking on them as far as fantasy is concerned. And then uh, you can see in the bottom there, I've got a little note. I also give out picks via email Saturday or Sunday morning. So make sure you're subscribed to the email list. Uh, if you're not already, make sure you click on that lineup tool in the YouTube description. That will take you over to a form where you can enter your email and receive my picks and my updates. I'm quickly going to go over a couple of emails I received from people who are following the videos. So Trevor said he's been subscribed for a year and he finished second out of 23,000 people in the quarter entry. So that's the 25 cent contest. He finished second. He played only $12.50 uh, in total and he won $164. So congrats, Trevor. And then I got an email from Ben, as you can see there, he said he won over $15,000 on less than $100 in entries. And you can see his two screenshots there. He was in the Flea Flicker, which is a $9 contest. It looks like he only had six entries in there and he finished fourth for $5,000. So that's pretty crazy. And then uh, even crazier at the bottom there, he came in first in the NFL uh, Sunday snap on FanDuel for $10,000. So he won over $15,000 on uh, less than $100. So that's huge. Congrats to you, Ben. And then if you guys watched my NFL Week 2 video, you'll know that I was at the Steelers game this past weekend for a DraftKings VIP sporting experience for a contest that I won uh, in the spring. So we did that this past weekend in Pittsburgh. It was absolutely amazing. I love the city. I love Pittsburgh. And the Steelers game was just awesome. I've got a short little clip here from uh, the game that I'll post here, and then we'll get into my Week 3 picks. Let's go Steelers! Let's go. Let's go, Ben. Let's go, boys. Here we go, boys. Let's go, Jesse. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so moving on to my DraftKings and FanDuel NFL Week 3 picks. We're going to start off with a quarterback wide receiver stack here. We got Marcus Mariota from the Titans. 5,900 on DraftKings, 7,700 on FanDuel. You can see there I've got the star beside the 5,900. So he's a little cheaper on DraftKings this week. I'll be playing him a little more on DraftKings. And I'm going to be pairing him with his wide receiver, Tajay Sharp. 4,700 on DraftKings, 5,800 on FanDuel. The Titans are at home versus the Raiders, who are giving up 517 yards against per game so far this year over two games. And the Raiders are also giving up 404 passing yards against per game. So they've played two tough opponents and two good quarterbacks, but they're still just giving up a ton of yards. I thought they'd be a little better defensively, but so far they've looked awful. So I'll probably be picking on them again with quite a few Mariota stacks, hoping that they have another bad game. Mariota is completing 67.6% .6 of his passes for 509 yards through two games. And one of his favorite targets so far this year has been Sharp, who was held in check a bit last week with just 33 yards on four catches. But he did have 76 yards on seven receptions in week one. I think he's got a better matchup here in week three. And he's still very cheap at just 4,700 on DraftKings, 58 on FanDuel. So that combo with Mariota and Sharp will be one of my favorites of the week. 
And then my second quarterback wide receiver stack I like for NFL Week 3 is going to be Phillip Rivers from the Chargers, 6700 on DraftKings, $8,000 on FanDuel, paired with his number one receiver, Travis Benjamin, 5200 on DraftKings, 6900 on FanDuel. The Chargers are on the road versus the Colts, who are giving up 299 passing yards per game, which ranks them 25th in the NFL so far this year. We've got the highest Vegas total of the Sunday games at 52 points, which means there's probably going to be high ownership as we saw last week with the highest total being in the uh, New Orleans, New York Giants game. Uh, we'll probably see that again here with Philip Rivers and Andrew Luck, but I'm still going to include this stack uh, in quite a few of my lineups. I'll definitely get some exposure to Rivers and Benjamin. I think it's a really good stack this week. Uh, Rivers has thrown five touchdowns and zero interceptions this year while completing 70% of his passes. And uh, Travis Benjamin is now the number one receiver with uh, Keenan Allen going down. And in his first game as the number one receiver, he had 115 yards and two touchdowns on six receptions for 32.4 DraftKings points. So I think this is a really good stack here. It's going to be higher owned, so I might limit my exposure a little bit compared to where I would normally have them if I didn't think they'd be higher owned. Uh, but I'll definitely still have some Rivers Benjamin stacks going for week three. One of the cheap running backs I'm going to be looking at for week three is going to be Fozzie Whitaker for the Panthers, 3,800 on DraftKings, 63 on FanDuel. He's quite a bit cheaper on DraftKings, so I'll be playing him more on DraftKings. Uh, the Panthers are at home versus the Vikings as seven-point favorites, and the Panthers starting running back Jonathan Stewart is out with an injury. So it's either going to be Whitaker or Cameron Artis Payne who will take over the number one role. And it's something we need to monitor throughout the week. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Whitaker is going to get at least the majority of the carries. Although there has been some talk about Cameron Artis Payne getting a good majority of the carries. So we're, I'm going to have to watch that pretty closely. But if I think that Whitaker is going to get maybe 60% of the touches in the backfield, I'm definitely going to have him in my lineups at 3,800 this week. Uh, last week, Whitaker had 16 rush attempts for 100 yards and added three receptions for 31 yards. So I think he's a pretty good player. Uh, 3,800 for a big home favorite is too cheap if he's going to be the starting running back. So I'll definitely be playing him, uh, but we're going to have to monitor that. So I'll probably send out an email update on Saturday or Sunday to see if I can find out any more information and I'll let you guys know. Another wide receiver I'll have in my lineups is going to be Eric Decker from the Jets at 6,900 at DraftKings and 7,300 at FanDuel. The Jets are on the road versus the Chiefs as three-point underdogs. We've got a bit of a lower total here of 43.5 points, but I do see this game going over that total. Uh, Kansas City is ranking middle of the pack in passing yards against, and Eric Decker has had a big start to the season. Through two games, he has eight catches for 163 yards and two touchdowns. Ownership may be up a little bit after he put up 126 yards and a touchdown this past Thursday in prime time, uh, but I don't think his ownership is going to be at a level where I'm going to worry. I think he'll be right around maybe 10% if that, so I'm not going to worry too much about his ownership. It might be inflated a little bit, uh, but nothing that really concerns me. Decker has either scored a touchdown and or put up 80 yards receiving in every game since the start of last season. Very consistent receiver, and I'll definitely have him here in NFL Week 3 against the Chiefs. At tight end, I'm going right back with Delaney Walker from the Titans this week. He's 5,000 on DraftKings, 6,900 on FanDuel. And he's a guy that I'm going to be pairing with Mariota. Uh, if I'm not going sharp, I'll be going with Delaney Walker most likely. Or maybe I'll have both of them in some lineups as well. Uh, Delaney Walker had just 7.2 DraftKings points in week one, but he rebounded with 20.3 DraftKings points versus the Lions in week two. And he scored 20 or more DraftKings points six times over his last 11 games played. And last time he faced Oakland near the end of last year, he had six catches for 91 yards. So I expect another big game from him uh, this week. I'm a little worried about his ownership after a big game last week, but I will definitely have him in some lineups. And then I've got four more DraftKings and FanDuel NFL Week 3 picks here, starting off with running back D'Angelo Williams from the Steelers, 7,500 on DraftKings, 8,800 on FanDuel. The Steelers are in Philadelphia facing the Eagles, who've had a pretty good rushing defense so far this year, but they've also faced the Browns and the Bears through two weeks and now face a much tougher test in the Steelers. And uh, D'Angelo Williams is averaging 4.1 yards per carry and just under 30 rushing attempts per game, which is crazy. He's getting the ball a ton, and he's also caught 10 passes in the Steelers' first two games as well. So with so much usage in uh, one of the league's best offenses, I'm going to have to play Williams again here in week three, uh, the last week before Le'Veon Bell is back from his suspension. Next up, we got another wide receiver here, Jarvis Landry from the Dolphins, 6,600 on DraftKings, 7,000 on FanDuel. The Dolphins are 10-point favorites at home versus the Browns, who are giving up 392 yards against per game. 
After being held to just 59 yards in week one versus a tough Seahawks defense, Landry rebounded with 10 catches for 137 yards in week two versus the Patriots. Although he did get more opportunities than normal with the Dolphins trailing big early, Landry has seen double-digit targets in nine of his last 11 games. So no matter the game script, if they're ahead, if they're losing, uh, Landry is usually getting a ton of targets, and he's still too cheap for the quality of receiver he is, and I'll roster him here in week three. Then I've got a second tight end here, Jared Cook from the Packers, 2,900 on DraftKings, 5,000 on FanDuel. I was big on Cook in week one and missed pretty badly as he caught just one pass for seven yards, but he followed that up with four catches for 31 yards against a good Vikings defense on Sunday night, and he now faces one of the league's worst defenses versus tight ends in the Lions. Detroit is giving up plus 5.2 points above expected versus tight ends over the last year. And I'm going to be limiting my exposure on Cook. I won't have him in too many lineups, but I'll definitely be throwing him in a lineup or two, looking for about 12 DraftKings points at that $2,900 price point. Lastly, we've got my favorite uh, value defense slash special teams play here with the Bengals, $2,800 on DraftKings, $4,500 on FanDuel, which puts them in about the middle of the pricing for defenses, despite a fairly good matchup versus the Broncos, who rank just 16th in yards per game on offense here so far in uh, 2016. Uh, this game will be played in Cincinnati and it will be the Bengals home opener in, here in week three. Uh, the Bengals rank 14th in yards against per game so far, despite facing two pretty solid AFC teams on the road so far in the Jets and the Steelers. So there definitely are some uh, more expensive defenses that I do like this week, but as far as value plays are concerned, Bengals are my top option here at 2,800 at DraftKings and 4,500 at FanDuel. If you want to win more money on DraftKings and FanDuel this year, I highly recommend you check out the tools at Fantasy Labs. It's a paid subscription, but definitely worth it. They do have some free tools as well. They've helped me win a lot of money in the past, and they've helped a lot of other people win money as well. So check them out. I've got a link to Fantasy Labs in the YouTube description below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like or thumbs up button on YouTube. It will help support my YouTube channel and help let me know to keep making videos like this. As always, guys, good luck in your contest this week. Hope you make some money. Cheers.